All right. Back streaming live. Oh, let me update Twitch. <laughs> I forgot to do this, and normally I do it ahead of time, so. There we go. Anyway, updated Twitch. We're back in our research city. I've decided on a name for this city. It's Intelligere Mesa. It's actually an Italian word, or an Italian, excuse me, a Latin word, and a, uh, a Spanish word, so... It's, it's Latin for to comprehend or perceive, <clears throat> and of course mesa means table, but it's often used to refer to these high uh, flat top bluffs as this city happens to sit on. Alright, oh, missed the T. In this episode, we're going to uh, we're gonna zone out all the read all, all the the residential and everything here. We have some commercial in this city. Imagine most of them turn into offices, as we're gonna keep this city pretty high wealth. I don't want to make this one look really cool because these high wealth cities just end up looking really nice when you get them well built up. <laughs> Let's see, we're going to have the academy at the end of this road. Which means I think we're going to start with this section here. We'll build this out. Um, it'll be mostly a grid, but I think I'm going to switch it up a little bit and make it look a little bit different. I also want to make sure I leave room for some expansions, which I think I'm going to put right along the highway here, or the, the, the avenue, rather. Um, and I know that those fit in one of these. So we're just going to go straight to high density on this, uh, this city here. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do with this section here yet. Um, if I want to just make it curve and build stuff on it, or... Uh, I'm not really sure. But I definitely know that we're not going to be able to fit a building there. Yeah. So why don't... Hmm. I don't know, I can be able to get a straight line there either. So I connected that right on the curve, so. Um, oh, there we go. until they meet. Mm. There we go. 
And then I want the curve to be kind of large here. I don't care about wasting a little bit of space in this city. As long as it looks good. We could do a curve out like that big. This city will probably end up running a fusion power plant as well, because it'll be the control net city. So um, we'll be able to power all the other cities from this one. here for distance. Come back a little bit here. There we go. And we'll curve this one from here. section here. Oh, well, over here, but I want to measure this out a little bit, because I want to make sure that the width, uh, you know, that we're going to fit, like, three or four wide here, and still have somewhere in the middle. Three. I'll probably do four. Uh, when I say three or four wide, I mean the, the buildings, uh, their, their width. There we go. And then we can continue. But we're going to do two back to back here. I can draw a couple lines here to make sure that I get everything straight the way I want it, or you know, the distance good the way I want it. Oh, we, and we wanted to do two back to back. some daylight. We'll get a couple more hours going here and then we'll pause everything because uh, I'm losing a little bit of money. Not that it's that big a deal. We have plenty in the other city. This one. I think we'll quite be able to yeah, connect these, but we'll find a way here. 
I'm gonna make it look good too. Don't mind playing. It's just in the game. My house is not getting bombed. know we can fit two back to back in there. And I think we might be able to do that for one more row. Let's see how much room we have here. Oh yeah. Master. Thanks for watching. Just getting this city ready. I don't know if we can probably pause it. Got enough daylight to work with. I realize we're leaving a little bit of room on the outside there, but I think we can use that for some parks because we'll probably need to. Uh, we want this to be high wealth, so we'll probably need a little bit of extra room for parks and stuff. that'll end up looking kind of neat. Now, for intersections, as usual, always try to avoid three-way, uh, four-way intersections. Three is fine. I think we'll have one here. We can continue this up here, but we'll demolish this part. This is not going to intersect over here because we don't want to mess with the entrance to the highway. But... Hmm. So I think I'm going to close the ends of this too. I think we'll put one here. Actually, let's measure this. Four, I think. All right, I should work for that. Do 
two here. Oop, a little closer. That should be good. This is a little long. I kind of want to break it up maybe here. Hmm. Not sure. This I definitely need to break up again. Maybe here. Let's do something with this real quick. I can't really go from there. I'm going to try to make a nice curve here. Oh yeah, that actually works out. Perfect. There. Yeah, that'll work out nicely. And then... I'm going to measure five of these, actually. Or maybe six, because we're going to miss... Because this corner, we're going to we're gonna be short a couple on one side. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see where this other line comes in. Or we could do two. Two and then four? Yeah, let's do that one. Kind of like the other side that we did two and then four. A little closer. There we go. And for some reason, this intersection is a little bit weird. Yes, yes. We can always you know, place the academy again. Or plenty of money. You know, maybe that's what I should actually do is draw this one straight up here, take this out, and then we'll kind of figure something out for right here. I'm not sure how we're going to measure that, but maybe I'll just draw one and kind of guess, because the curves are going to, we're going to lose a few buildings because of the curves anyway. Yeah. I think we'll just leave this stub here. I wasn't sure what to do with it really. Alright, so that's that side. I wonder if I should connect this up here. Because we need, we need connections here, and it's better to have connections to multiple levels. So, let's actually do that. And I'm going to go underground here. Alright, actually, let's do it this way. I would like to go underground here. There we go. Oh, okay. So well, that's our problem. We need to connect it kind of directly up to this road. Maybe a little bit farther. I 
dog. I'm gonna try to make a nice smooth curve here. Oh, just barely fits there too. There. That looks much better. Now, I'm sure that this side is going to come over here once we put some stuff back here. Well, for now, everybody's going to kind of file this way. We do still have some industrial demand in this city. So, we'll, we'll, I think we'll put some industrial in, but we'll, it'll be really high tech because <laughs> it's going to be... Uh, let's actually check the wind direction. Because the academy is a tech producer, and we're also going to have the university in this city, too. Yeah, we can put the industrial down here. In fact, let's zone that, too. Or, let's map it out, rather. go. <coughs> now we're going to start curving this road. Oh, let's, uh, let's increase the distance on this one, too. I'm going to try to get right up to the edge. Oops. <laughs> find a corner for this road. I'm going to do similar distance to the other one. Somewhere right around here. Continue the curve inside. But as on the other side, we're going to do double density here as well. So we fit two high density buildings back to back. getting the distance I want there. There we go. I think that's actually perfect. We'll pull those that. And this one's gonna be that big.
Mm, ending that road. Spending that road too. Once we place the university in this city, I might go to the other city, remove the university, because um, I want it to be low, uh, low tech industrial that makes much more money from Omega. But not in this episode. We're gonna continue. We're gonna build up this city, and I hope to get started populating a little bit later. all goes as planned. This section here is just going to be industrial, just big, fancy aerospace plants as far as the eye can see. Well, sort of as far as the eye can see. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to fit another one in here. We will try, though. I don't believe so. so. I think it's just gonna be like this tiny little... Yeah, we don't need to... we, we can't put anything there. It's alright though. I think we're going to attach one road here. And then another road is going to go here. Actually, maybe we'll go to the end here. Because we're going to go underneath. That actually, that looks really good. connection down there. Let's actually see if we can get a little bit nicer connection here. Don't you let me delete you? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's 
little bit smoother. And I think we'll put a road here. And then we'll do the same thing. No, this side uh, actually needs to connect, uh, Not is not going to connect to this road. We're going to have bridges that go over. And in fact, this would be cool if I can make it work. I, don't, I didn't think so. I don't think it's going to let me intersect the road. <laughs> that would have been cool to have a bridge come straight off of there. But yeah, we're going to have some bridges come over here. Um, like this one. Because uh, the residential people are going to work over there, obviously. I don't want a four-way intersection, though. I forgot. Think about this for a second here. <laughs> it's like, it's a lot harder than you'd think to avoid all these four-way intersections. But, but then also to have intersections far enough apart to where you don't create a lot of traffic backups in those but close enough together to where people can get to where they're going easily and it's just a lot to think about what if we what if we just go across here i'm gonna go across here and then we do this so that it, you know, matches. And then it can get kind of, hopefully, where they're going over here a little bit easier. And I'll curve these. Lose a little bit of people, but it'll look nicer. Or a little bit of uh, industrial as it were in this section. But it'll look nicer. There we go. I hate it when it pulls the road over like that. I wonder if I should have, yeah, I should probably have another road coming up right over here. And then we need to do something with this. it'll be able to make that tight corner, yeah. And actually, we don't even need a corner there because we're gonna, um, we need this to come up from here. Oops. Let this kind of really go. A little bit, a little bit funky, but and actually, I take that back. We can maybe even make it a little bit better.
Because what if we go like this? Corner this off. And then we give it a little bit of a corner that is a bridge. Maybe we can look at this. There we go. Oh, it won't even make a bridge. And it won't be flat either. Actually works really nicely. And then we just need one more road over here somewhere. Maybe just right here. To help people get around a little bit. Okay. That looks nice. Welcome back, Lawmaster. Thanks for following me. Saw you did that. Place that there. We'll do a solar plant in this city for now. Um, and maybe that's actually what we'll put back here is the solar plant because what we have a little bit of extra room Yeah, we can put it like here See actually where that gets us. Mm, very close. I don't know if they're actually going to build high density there. Yeah, I don't think they will because they'll think they're building into that. So then, we'll just come back down this way. Looks like we're going to need to mess with some of that. There. It's okay. Looks good. Let's check where our water is. So we can build this. We'll build the sewage and then we'll build the other part. Let's see. I'll probably put it right back up in here. Maybe next to near the entrance, not next to it, but near it. I'm not sure where we want to attach this though. So I want to do the train station down here somewhere. Extend this. And how big is Oh, will it even let me? Yeah, it won't even let me size it. Because I don't have the Department of Transportation yet. Well, we're also going to need to put our city hall in. And I don't know where that will look good. 
actually, we can do City Hall down at the end of this road like we did the, uh, the Academy. And that could look good. Academy at one end of the road, City Hall at the other. Something like this. We're going to demolish part of the road because we're going to put the train station right over here and then we'll figure out how to attach all that as soon as I can figure out how big it is. Huh. <laughs> Town Hall, City Hall. Okay. There's no thing for that. Oh, and now I need to put this down. I do want to know how big that is. But I don't have a way a way to do that yet. And I need to put down the water and sewage in order to have people. I guess we can try for... something in this vicinity. Do... something like this. And then when we put the train station in here, we can connect it very nicely. Um, we can just do this for now, though. do this over here. Put the sewer right in here where it's flat, but I can put another one above. And then we want the water plant right behind it. We're going to need a road right about here. And I think actually we want to come out because we want enough room to put our other um, our other stuff on. So we're actually going to come out to like here. Nope, still not quite enough room, right? Because if I place this... Oh, no, it'll fit. Okay. So I want this to be seven. Is that gonna be one? I think it's gonna be eight. That might not even be enough to open over here. Oh, perfect. those in, it's time to look at uh, where we want to place our services. 
think I'm going to place the fire department right back here. Oh, I could place it here and then use... Yeah, see, I have enough room over here to do a couple things. We'll eventually replace that with drones. So we'll just have fire marshals drones. I think we can put the health center. Hmm, where do we want to put that? And we're gonna fix this for later. I'm not sure where we want to put the hospital. Maybe you're right, just in here somewhere. Really, we could go up here more. Something like that. I kind of like that. Let's put it there. Put these on for now, but we'll replace that with drone. I don't think we're going to need too many of these, but I will place two of them. And then we just need to put down police. In fact, I think we can wait a little bit on police. Because I think up here is where we're going to put our, uh, university? Hmm. Oh yeah, there we go. That actually I think will look perfect. Because I should have... Okay, I don't have quite enough space to build two this way, but it should work out. Should have enough to build two this way though. Yeah. And then I'm unsure what we'll do up here yet, but we'll see. I think it is time to zone and turn it on. I don't believe I've missed placing anything. We're obviously gonna do transportation and tourism as our first two things. Our first two expansions for the, the town hall. Oh. Hmm. This is the one that I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe we just use up this back corner here. I'm thinking we can put it, like, right here. Yeah, we can put it right here. Can't do an expansion dump though, hmm, because I kind of wanted to. And I don't think I can fit another one this way wide. But if I move this one here, I don't think it'll let me do the expansion dump either. Actually, let's try it. Yeah, it's probably. 
bottom is still too close. Yeah. All right. Move that back. I'm just wasting some money here. That's all. <laughs> And then for now we'll build these, but I think we'll do um, <coughs> the uh, atomizer later on. Oh, can we really not fit a force? I don't think we'll need all four. But it's nice to be able to have them. And then we might even be able to fit a little bit of a industrial down here too. I like placing everything first. And then I'll go around and I'll turn turn a lot of stuff off. And then I can turn it on as needed. Because, I, I mean, I have a lot of them. I have the money already, so. In fact, we can turn these off as not needed. But that way, too, I can figure out how big something is and, you know, place things a little bit better. these off. And like I said, we're probably going to replace this solar plant with a fusion power plant as time goes on. We also need to do recycling in this city. Turning off some of these, and then we'll start up pretty soon here once I zone everything. And I still need to figure out where I'm going to put my police station. Should put it over here by the school, that'd be kind of cool. I don't know how good the coverage will be, though, to the rest of the city. Well, especially when I get drones in this city, I think that would be fine. What happens when I bring. Can't drop your place buildings. Bring this just like straight over. Oh, but I don't have enough room back there. so I can make it. Hopefully, nah. I'm not going to worry about it. Because I do want to place the police precinct back here. And I really want to know the size <laughs> of the uh, uh, of the train station so I can, you know, fit that in nicely. Mm 
And we'll just put the police station over here for now. Like right here. Yeah. We, we may end up having to move this, but we'll put it here for now. Now we have all our basic services placed. We've got school. The only other thing we're going to need to do is some trans mass transit, but we're not going to do buses in this town because it's going to be mostly high wealth. Speaking of, we should start zoning here. We know this area is all going to be industrial. I mean, weird. Let's, <laughs> let's fix this road, I guess. There we go. It's a little better, at least. Oops. I don't like the gap, but there's often not... You not much you can really do about that. Hey, fellow boss. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for watching. Start doing residential in here. I think we'll put some commercial here. Actually, no, like, let's put residential here, and then we'll put commercial along this long side, so it kind of <clears throat> kind of faces the intersection there. Forgot my own rule of uh, anything that touches that's a, just a an exit street or, or whatever needs to be medium or low density. There. The ends the ends are fine. They can they can stay high density.
Ah. Glad you like the way the curves are styled. I'm just trying to make the city look kind of good as, as well as function, hopefully. Oh, I got all the money from my other city. I can show you the region a little bit. This other city that I made, uh, Cliffside, is a uh, industrial producer. So it has uh, 40 million or something right now. Uh, 49 million. Because um, I've, I've played that city for the first nine episodes, or first eight episodes. So I, I sent this one a bunch of money to start it off. It's a lot easier that way. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you like that intersection in the middle, uh, fellow boss? Thank you. Um, if you've ever watched Yuto uh, make intersections, he's kind of the one that I, I, you know, it's all inspired by him because he's the one that really figured out how to make a lot of these intersections that, that, that work pretty well, these interchanges um, that actually, you know, work fairly well. So um, I have him to thank for that. Uh, of course, I mean, I, I obviously built this one, but it's all inspired by Yuto. I think, I think I'm not forgetting anything here. Oh, no, I am forgetting one thing. We need, um, recycling center. Should have done that before I zoned, but that's okay. Should actually work pretty good right there. And I think we're going to recycle two plastics, an alloy, and we'll do the metal. Oh, really? Doesn't look like it's on top of the road. Actually, we, we can turn this plant around, too. Oh, yeah, fellow boss, it's not that, uh, it's not that bad. In fact, I, I have the last episode, episode 9, um, it is highlighted uh, it, for, on Twitch. So uh, I think it's, it's uploaded to YouTube, but I'm not sure if it's done processing yet. Um, so if you want to see how I created it, that's pretty much what I spent the whole last episode doing, is, is creating that uh, intersection. Uh, what was I putting down? Oh. Recycling center. Yeah, let's do it on this side. To get that multi plopper mod, that's a nice one. <laughs> it's annoying to have to pop all these at once. And we'll see what we can fit in there. Oh, thank you, Thelaboss, for following and subbing and stuff. <laughs> uh, I did make a, um, a mega tower in the other city. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in this one. I always have problems with them. They kind of work for me. There's, there's, I always have problems, though, and, and I just I get annoyed dealing with them, so I, d I don't usually do them. I'm going to need to place a trade depot as well. Too bad it won't fit in here. That'd be kind of cool. Or in here. But I can fit it right in here. In fact, let's do that. Let's dezone it first, though. Plastic, alloy, and metal. Oops. Put the trucks down and sign. Can't forget the all important sign. 
I actually I don't know what it does on a, on a trade building, but whatever. It looks cool. And we're gonna export all of these. All right. Now I really think I have everything set to go here because can't place our academy yet. Um, or our our drone factory yet. <coughs> Excuse me, but soon we will. Um, I think it's ready to fire the city up, though. Let's see how everything grows. We are using a lot of money. Hey, look, there's me coming for my own tour. <laughs> we are using a, a lot of money up right off the bat, but that's okay. As we talked about earlier, plenty of money in the other city to bail this one out if we need to. Since you guys are active in the chat room today, and you, as you know, I, I don't know if you've listened to my other videos or watched my other videos, rather, but I'm always open to suggestions, so if you want to see something, just let me know. Even if I don't put it in this city particularly, I'll, I may, you know, make another city with it or something. Uh, oh, no research project. Maglevs, first thing we need. <laughs> um, or, uh, if you're watching after the fact, because, you know, if you're not watching Twitch, uh, uh, you can always leave a comment on the YouTube video, and uh, I well, generally read those, we'll see. <laughs> you're new, Thelaboss, uh, like you're new to, um, to Twitch, or just, you're new. <laughs> Or just new to my channel. Oh, and we can place our uh, drone factory here too. Somewhere here. Well, I'm glad you're you're having fun in the channel, fellow boss. You can feel free to watch, uh, you know, the old ones if you want to catch up, or just ask questions. There's a lot. I haven't done a whole lot. There's only one other city in here. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a region tour here soon. After we get the third city built on this island. Um, but we want to put in our Omega. And it might look kind of cool to put it in the corner here. But I think it might fit better over here. Even over here, yeah. Hopefully these work this time, because I'd rather not, I'd rather just import the processor straight to it and not have to build another trade depot. But now that we have that, we can get rid of these. Actually, I think I'm on him on this side. And then we can use this side for one of these and put one over here. Drones, as I've found out fairly recently, can put out um, hazmat fires, which is pretty cool.
to relieve some traffic and make towers in between the towers? I guess I don't know what you mean, towers in between the towers. So far, the VTOL seems to be coming in on time. Oh, we can probably... Oh, not quite upgrade. It's 5,000. People will move in a little bit slower, but that's okay. I'm gonna let this grow for a minute here. Thanks to my uh, followers. Thanks, guys. It's always glad to have. I'm always glad to have people watch on Twitch and uh, you know, play the game with me a little bit. So far, traffic's good, but the city's still very small. So, however, people that are. Um, commuting in from the arcology, I assume, are, um, you know, that traffic is flowing very well. If I had one-way roads, this would actually work correctly, instead of people coming the wrong way. But I can't really do a lot about that. <laughs> Yeah, see people are totally going the wrong way sometimes. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to build the Omega HQ in this city. Not that I need to. I think it'll ruin the way the city looks too. Well, it seems to be getting its processors fine, so... Well, we could put the Trade HQ in this city, but I don't think we need to do that either. Ooh, Maglev's done researching. Go for a level 2 upgrade. Oh, interesting. You don't need the Department of Transportation in order to place Magla. I had thought you did. That's, that's very interesting. We just need these guys to grow up some more here. I'm glad to see we got some high tech already in developing. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got a very strong tech network here. <laughs> that actually makes this intersection look really cool. It's the pink line. Well, we've got a very strong tech network here, so we're gonna we're gonna have all this really high tech, which is what we wanted. And I'm going to let these increase in density before I, uh, I increase their wealth. How is everything else doing here? Why 
Why are we not picking up all of our garbage? I guess we just need another truck here. It's a big city. Yeah, it's a big city and there's just a lot of little buildings right now. So I think the garbage situation will straighten itself out pretty quickly here. It might have also taken a little bit of time today for them to fill up with workers. Speaking of, everybody seems to be getting around pretty nicely. Obviously traffic won't become a problem until later on, so we'll just have to wait and see. And the whole city will be futurized um, because we're going to do a lot of maglev transportation, but only little bits of it are futurized at the moment. Oh, and I think we want to do a bridge right back here. And then we'll curve it into this road here. This one will work. Let's see how that looks. It's weird it slopes down like that. <laughs> I really don't like that. Let's try this again. And actually, let's do this here. So we can get the same distance. Either side. Well, that's close enough, I think. Now people can get to the school a little bit easier from over over here. A lot of traffic here. Oh, I think it's just yeah, it's just people leaving the solar plant after uh, after their shift. These roads are always going to back up, or are always going to look like they're a little bit backed up because they're uh, they're low density. But as long as traffic, you know, keeps moving through them pretty quickly, that's that's all I care about. Hm. Funny how the game comes and goes with sounds. Uh, you know, the, the, <laughs> the music's kind of loud right now. Hope you can still hear my voice, all right. But it's fairly happy. Industrial thinks they just, oh yeah, we want places to ship our freight. I was hoping, yeah, the trade depot's gonna need, I might need to put in another trade depot anyway. Just a freight one. I wish I could put it right back in this corner. Maybe that's what we'll actually put right here. It's basically just our freight depot. Because we want to make sure that these guys are all happy um, with places to ship their freight. And by giving them this, we can't. 
Or maybe even place a uh, an airport a little bit later, and that's got one that can. That's got terminals that can take freight too. So. Yeah, we guess yeah. See, we got a lot of freight in this city. But that should make them happy. Oh yeah, we can build processor factory, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Omega's already making us a bunch of money just from drones, which is good. I think we're gonna have to put another residential section up here. So while we're waiting for the rest of this to come in, let's start uh, zone or start you know getting the roads ready for this area. And I'm going to do the same pattern that I've been doing with the kind of curved, curved roads. And trade port. Oh, um, I don't think I'm going to place a trade port in this city. Uh, we're not really doing much trading other than um, just selling off a couple of our little, um, uh, you know, the stuff we recycle and um, and the freight, the extra freight that we have. So I don't think I'm going to place one, but I may change my mind on that. This curve right here. Yeah, no worries, fellow boss. I mean, I'm, like I say, I'm always open to suggestion. It just depends on, on what I'm trying to do. Like this city, I've actually kind of got a theme for. So, some of the stuff I may deny your suggestions, <laughs> but for the most part, I, I'm always happy to to do interesting things. Go. Well, I think we're going to finish drawing this road, and then I'm going to call this a stream for this hour. I'll be coming back shortly. You can take a little bit of a break between streams, about, you know, half hour or something, maybe tops. Let's see here. Let's get this other part of the road drawn in first. Maybe, maybe I'll have actually a little bit of a section up here.
close to intersection. I'm trying to get this to look nice. That section's sort of done, but we're going to call it a stream here. It's been about an hour. It's time for the end of this episode. Oh, I'm going to take a little bit of a break after this one, but uh, go ahead and follow me on Twitch if you want to catch when I stream next, which will probably be a little bit later today. And um, you can follow me on YouTube if you want to uh, watch my stuff after the fact or, uh, you know, if you miss me streaming live. So I've enjoyed having you all here. I hope you've enjoyed watching me.